Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, helping you get the most out of your Apple devices. And today Apple just released iOS 12 developer beta six. Now I was not actually expecting this release, which is why I'm making this video a little bit late for you guys. Uh, usually Apple releases new iOS 12 betas every two weeks instead of every one week. And we just saw iOS 12 beta five released one week ago today. So I was not expecting this release. And uh, nevertheless, we do have a pretty good list of things to go through what's new in this beta. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at what's new in iOS 12 beta six. So the first little change is a change to an icon in Control Center. So you can see here when I am streaming music to any Bluetooth or Air AirPlay device, this icon now is a lighter shade of blue. So before in the previous betas, it was a very dark blue. I didn't really like the way it contrasted with the dark background of the Control Center page. So Apple probably saw that too, and they toned down the blue color a bit, and now it just matches a lot better with the dark UI of Control Center, so that's a small change. There are some reordered wallpapers inside settings, and there also is a removed wallpaper, which is the iOS 10 wallpaper. So you can see here that the globe wallpapers are now at the top, and the iOS 12 and iOS 11 wallpapers are at the bottom, and for some reason, Apple removed the iOS 10 wallpaper. Don't know why they did that. Honestly, I would like every wallpaper that Apple has ever created all the way back to iOS 6, but apparently Apple likes to remove instead of add new wallpapers. Hopefully though, we'll see new wallpapers in the Gold Master release of iOS 12. We do have some new wallpapers though inside the home application. So if I jump here in the home, you can see here the stock uh, wallpaper is this yellow gradient instead of a picture of another house. I thought that was kind of weird in the first place why Apple would have you know a picture of somebody else's house in the home application. Uh, now it's just a simple gradient. So we have a yellow, blue, and a green gradient. Let's change it to blue, see how that looks. Yeah, I like the look of that. I think that looks a lot better uh, than the actual photo. So we do have a new welcome screen in a whole bunch of applications. So we have a new welcome screen in the App Store. We have a new welcome screen inside iTunes. We have a new welcome screen inside Books. This one I kind of like because it shows a picture of actual books, which is kind of cool. We have a new welcome screen inside TV. And we have a new welcome screen inside music. So Apple is gonna be doing this with the final release of iOS 12. So when everyone uh, updates to iOS 12, uh, they can open up all their favorite apps and this welcome screen will simply say everything that's new inside iOS 12, just so people can get the most out of the release. A very small change is the clock, minute, and hour hands are a lot bolder, so you can probably see that right here. Uh, I use this a lot just to see how many seconds uh, away the clock is from changing to the next minute. So whenever I look at the clock, I do like that the hands are a lot bolder now, so I can see that uh, from a bit farther away. And also in messages, when I go to compose a message and go onto the camera, you can see that there is a new icon there uh, that it will uh, take you to your entire library. So Apple actually designed an entire new icon to put there on the top left. And if I tap that, it will take me to all my photos down here. So guys, that is what's new in iOS 12 beta 6, a pretty long list of changes uh, for a uh, release that just came a week after beta 5. If you found anything that I did not mention in this video, tell me in the comments down below. Other than that guys, thanks so much for watching. Drop a like on this video and uh, tell your friends about my channel and uh, retweet my tweets because we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. It's gonna be amazing when we cross that milestone. So uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. My name is Mike. I'll see you in the next video.